All right, fellas, gonna make this short, sweet, and to the point here. I'm gonna show you guys how to get head tracking working with your Quest 3 in Armor Reforger. Um, I've seen people use this in Star Citizen, a couple other things to get head tracking going inside the game. Um, but this is, I use it for Armor Reforger, so I'm gonna show you guys how that's done today. Um, so, first off, you can get it for free online. Um, OpenTrack is a program for using head, uh, tracking a user's head rotation and transmitting it into a flight simulation software and military themed video games. Basically, uh, OpenTrack piggybacks on something that's been around for a long time called Trek IR, um, which was like a, a, you'd set up a camera and have a little thing on your head and it would um, transmit your head movements into the game. Um, so this kind of piggybacks on that software and, and you don't have to buy the, the other stuff for it. Anyways, um, there's several different ways of getting this to, to detect. Um, you could have a, like a camera, you could have a bunch of different things, um, to let this, um, track your head movements. So anyways, I'm doing the, the valve steam VR version. Um, there is a way to get your head tracking data to transmit directly to your computer. But I didn't want to go through all that. My system can uh, run Steam VR at the same time without any problems. But there is some more in-depth stuff of how to do this without having it run Steam VR. But anyways, um, as soon as you hit start tracking, uh, it's going to pull up the Steam VR menu, and you just double tap on your left side to um, get back to virtual desktop. Um, by the way, that's what I'm using in my virtual space instead of using Quest Link. I'm using virtual desktop because that allows me to have pass through so I can see my controls. I can see my stick. I can see my mouse. Um, and if you do just the quest link or PC link, you can't have the pass through happening at the same time. So you can't see your controls. So this was the best way using virtual desktop and open track. You can um, see your environment around you and transmit your head movements into the game. Um, so that being said, a couple things here. Under options, um, you want to toggle a, a you want to have a center button found. Uh, you want to have start start tracking and stop tracking. Um, these are important because when you go on to like when you go on foot, it can become a little bit weird because it does actually transmit some of the roll data of your head into the game. I could see a world where that would actually be kind of cool. So maybe we'll see in a future video if I can get this uh, tweaked a little bit to work a little bit better with um, uh, infantry. But that being said, uh, just open it up and it just works. You don't have to do anything else. Basically, as soon as it's on, it's on. And then this is my stop button. So when you hit the stop button, you're looking around with the um, mouse. When you have it on, it does not. the mouse does not work anymore. So it's just your head movements uh, work for the mouse. Um, what else? Little things. Um, so you can set different mapping on it. The mapping will uh, be where it's at. I believe it started at 150. I moved it to 125. Um, and I think it works pretty good there. So you can kind of see how it works with moving your head around. Um, anyways, uh, short, sweet, to the point. I hope you guys enjoy some head tracking in Armor Reforger. If you guys have a Quest headset, that's all you need to do for it. Um, there, it seems like the most popular way is running it off of a um, off of a webcam. So that's a possibility as well. So hopefully you guys uh, can get this up and running. If not, let me know where, where you got stuck. And if you do get it up and running, let me know. Anyways, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you out there on the battlefield.